What's good, guys? Yo, I'm here. I'm doing a little review of the Battle Beaver PS5 controller. Um, I just ordered it back in August. Finally got the thing. And man, it is awesome. Yo, before we go any further, make sure we, we're liking the video, commenting on the video, subscribing to the channel, and go and dropping me a follow on Twitch. If not, that's cool. I still love you either way. But here we go. Battle right. Beaver PS5 controller. Check that thing out. And I really like it. The color scheme. I did the same color as my stream, you know. Had to rep that. Um, I got all four of the back buttons on the back, as you can see. Let's see. Right there. Right there. Yes, sir. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I've never had a Battle Beaver before. I've only had... A PS4 scuff, so this is this is what I was rocking before, and yeah, as you can see, a button broke on it. Um, I never knew the difference, like how big of a difference a uh, swap it is from like the paddles to the buttons. But dude, it's like it's crazy. I I mean, I definitely understand why the pros use this. Um, you know, it's just a click rather than a whole like push down of a paddle. So. Man, I, I kind of should have known that, but I guess I didn't. Um, but as far as the feel, dude, the feel, this controller's light. It feels, for my hands, it feels perfect. But I was on a scuff impact, which if I'm correct, that's a little fatter of a of the scuff. So it feels more normal. So if you're used to a scuff impact, the PS5 controller doesn't feel that much different. I mean, you can, I'll hold it, I'll hold them side by side up right here. They kind of feel the same. You know what I'm saying? They kind of feel the same. I mean, obviously the PS5 controller has more of like a, a defined shape. Um, that impacts a little weird feeling, but I enjoyed using it. Um, but this controller, man, it's badass. It's light. Um, the analog sticks are really good on it. They're really nice. Um, I just went with the default ones because... You know, I rock default sticks most of the time, so. Uh, yeah. The only thing... So, I guess that was some good stuff about it. I'll, say, I'll tell you all some bad things about it now. So, the only thing bad about it that I've noticed that I've already like or don't like... And I've played with this for about five days now. Um, if I was to get the Battle Beaver again, I would get the grip stuff on the back. Just because once you start playing... Once your hands start getting a little sweaty, then this back gets, like, really slick, you know? And I've noticed, like, sometimes I'll have my, my controller, like, even crooked, you know, just to, like, have extra control over top of it. But, you know, for the most part, awesome controller. I would definitely recommend this to anyone, any of my buddies that play Call of Duty, Halo, um, any of the FPS games all the time, you know? Like, go ahead, go ahead and scoop this thing, bro. I think I I built mine specific to me, and I was trying to do it a little budget friendly, you know, not go too bougie on the controller because you know, who knows how long any controller is going to last you, you know. Um, I think I spent like two thirty, two thirty, but then my boy Apathy, shout out Apathy, you know, he has a little code for these guys, and since I don't have a code. You guys go use Apathy's code. I think it's Apathy. It's just code Apathy. So make sure, you know, you guys are supporting the, my boy, you know. I can't. I don't have a, a code for this, you know. I'd say most people you guys know don't have a code for this. So let's support, you know, a, a grinder. This man's up every day, every morning, playing Call of Duty, putting out content. You know, two-time world champ, already won a resurgence in uh, world, Warzone. So, you know. This man's going places, so use code Apathy Dog, and let's get it.